Well, hours after she felt compelled to apologize for abusive treatment of her staffers, Congresswoman and mayoral candidate Sheila Jackson Lee has been called out for falsely claiming a high profile endorsement. Yes, Fox 26's political reporter Greg Rugen breaking down this story on X. He broke it for us on X first, and now he's joining us live with the details in the studio. Greg. That's right, Caroline and Rashi. That alleged endorsement supposedly came from one of the most prominent black leaders in our city's history. The fact that it's now being flatly denied has turned a terrible week worse for Jackson Lee. A second major controversy emerging for the embattled mayoral campaign of Sheila Jackson Lee. It was triggered by a social media post from the Congresswoman announcing a public endorsement of her candidacy from former Houston Mayor Lee Brown. Trouble is, Brown fully endorsed Jackson Lee's principal opponent, State Senator John Whitmire, earlier this year. With sources now telling Fox 26 that support was never rescinded, transferred, or split. In a statement from Brown via the Whitmire campaign, the former mayor writes, I never gave Sheila Jackson Lee's campaign permission to use my name as an endorser. My endorsement remains with Senator Whitmire. The apparent blunder is the second bombshell to hit the Jackson Lee campaign in the past 72 hours. I don't want you to do After a recording of a deeply profane and abusive tongue lashing of her congressional staffers went viral. With exactly 14 days left until the election, Jackson Lee's opponents are now challenging the congresswoman's fitness to lead the city. Holding them accountable in, in, a, in a respectable manner, not the manner in which she berated the employee. But you just can't say those things. It's, it's not just bad management, it's treating people wrong. And we can't do that. This issue is not just personal, it is how you treat people. I mean, if you cannot manage, you know, 12 people in your congressional office or in your Senate office, how will you manage 21,000 city employees? That's the question people need to ask. As widely reported, Jackson Lee has since expressed regret for the rant, saying everyone deserves to be treated with respect. In the meantime, we are waiting for an explanation regarding this apparently false claim of obtaining former Mayor Brown's support. In the studio, Greg Grugan, Fox 26 News.